Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create an Android application. The Android application which I'm going to make in this video is a cricket score recorder. So it is basically a application which will record or memorize the cricket match score. Okay, so it is a very simple Android application. So I'll explain all the things like all the codes and the user interface uh, designing part from scratch. Okay, so if you are new to this Android, so this video is going to be very helpful for you. So let's start with this video guys. <laughs> So the very first thing that your system should have installed like whatever you are using laptop or pc so it should have installed android studio so just go to this url android studio download just search for this and you can just find this android studio so this link i have mentioned in this video description you can just refer to this link and just download this android studio because i know we are going to build this android application on this android studio so by clicking on this button, you can just download it. Okay. So once you successfully installed this Android Studio software in your system, then open this software. So after successfully open this software, we are ready to make new Android project. So I have already made this project, but I'm going to show you that how you can create or make this project. So I'm going to make it again. So Let's create a new project by clicking this file menu. So in file, go to this new project. Then this window will appear where you have to select like which type of activity you want. So just select this empty activity because all the things we will uh, add in this empty activity. We don't want anything. We just want our activity to be empty so that we can add uh, some widgets. So just uh, click on this uh, um, blank activity or empty activity. Just click on next now the second thing it will uh, ask you for the application name so whatever you will write the project name so it will directly reflect it to your android application name so make sure that uh, the this that you know that the application name is what is is uh, whatever your project name so just uh, name your project whatever you like so in this case i am naming it as cricket score recorder so i have already made this cricket score recorder so let's make it cricket score recorder one so after uh, uh, naming it just click on this next and it's done so now you can see that our new project is created so in this left hand section like in this left section we have our uh, workspace so go to this workspace and just change this workspace as project workspace right so when when you uh, create uh, change this workspace as project workspace then you can see that our project is there that is cricket score recorder one so just open it and just go to this just go to this um, app app module so in this app module we have this uh, src so all the source file are in in src and just go to this main and in main we have two modules so the important modules are this uh, that is java and resource so all the java files will be stored in java and all the designing part that is xml files okay so that will be stored in resources and all the like if you use any string or if you use any color or if you use any image in your application so all the ui part will be stored in resource and the backend part will be uh, done in our java file okay so this is uh, the uh, workspace we have so now what we have to do we have to create our uh, ui right so let's create our ui or design our ui so for designing the ui just go to this resource and in this resource we have layout so in layout we have the main activity dot xml so main activity dot xml is referring to this main activity dot java so this is connected to each other so in this main activity dot xml we have to we have to create some uh, uh, we have to um, basically uh, uh, design our ui right so now we will uh, use some buttons 
so in this section you can see that uh, for uh, for initially it is having a text uh, text view that is hello world so we don't want this hello world so we just uh, delete uh, we will just delete it so i have deleted this now uh, what we we want we want some uh, some buttons so let's uh, have some buttons uh, how can this uh, how can we have some buttons in our uh, ui in our uh, this activity xml file so in, in go to this palette section and you can f just find for text view or buttons so anything so we we want some buttons like for one run we want one button and for two run one button so how many buttons we want one two three four five six for no ball for wide ball for extra for converting so in total we we want uh, 10 buttons so we will take by dragging this button in our application so it is very simple okay so by dragging this button in our application we can have the buttons and then we want some uh, text views so we will have three text views in our uh, in this ui you can have as many as you want like uh, this is the ui part so everybody has a different creativity so uh, uh, you can have anything in this ui uh, according to you right so uh, in my case i am just taking three uh, text views 10 buttons and uh, four uh, four uh, no uh, five edit text edit text is what that is that can be changed okay because we want our result in edit text so i am getting i am taking this edit text so let's uh, i have added all the things now let's uh, let's just place it uh, place all the things in this ui so let me just place it So now I'm doing some uh, styling in my application so that it it looks some uh, it looks good and attractive to the user. So let's do this. So now the designing part is done like we have added all the necessary widgets that we want in our uh, main activity uh, page so now let's do the uh, let's do the backend part okay so that will be done in main activity dot java file so let's go to the java file so now in java file we have to define all the widgets that we have used in our ui and uh, then we have to connect these those widgets by their IDs like I have showed you that we can define the IDs of all the widgets so that we can differentiate between them right so now after that let's declare the variables in Java file and connect these variables to the widget IDs that we have defined in the in the uh, xml file so for a like for example for a particular widget we will declare a particular variable like for the button widgets we will declare the button variables and for the edit text widget we will declare the edit text variable and so on you can see that we have declared all the variables now we will uh, declare some more variables uh, that is predefined variable that is integer and double because I want a variable that is runs that should be initially zero and a wicket that should be initially zero also and the balls that should also be zero initially and the overs that should be 0.0, .0 initially. So I am declaring these variables. Now after the declaration and after this uh, this uh, connection of the variables to the particular ids what we have to do what we, what we have to do is
for a particular button what action should be performed we have to define this like like um, like if i click on this one button so what action should be performed and if i click on this out button then what should uh, what action should be performed so for example when the user click on this one button then the one run then the runs value should be uh, added by one and it should be a, a display on this on the app so this action should be performed when we click on this one and uh, when we click on this two button then two runs will be added to the total runs and this should be displayed and when we click on this no ball then balls no, then the ball should not get uh, updated only the run should get up updated by one and uh, and uh, and so on okay like we all know the rules of the of the cricket match so according to the cricket match rules we have defined the logic okay can see that this logic is implemented okay so now you can just uh, see that for the one button run should be updated and ball should be updated and for two two button the run should be updated by two and the ball should be updated by one and for three runs the run should be updated by three and the ball should be updated by one and for a boundary that is four so the run should be updated by four and the ball should be updated by one and for six the same the run should be updated by six and the ball should be updated by one but what uh, for the wide wide so the run should be updated by one and the ball should not be updated the ball should be remains uh, at its early stage and for the no button the run should be updated by one and and the run uh, and the and the ball should not be updated right and for out the wicket should be updated and the ball should be updated and this is in the code for the conver conversion like uh, i have already uh, defined this ball section but we want this ball section into into overs so how we can convert this uh, uh, like value into the um, overs so this is the code you can just easily uh, understand it like we are getting the reminder and the question for the data and just adding this question and between uh, and reminder in between uh, we are just uh, differentiating it between uh, giving the dot in between the question and reminder so it will convert the uh, balls in overs so this is the code for the uh, conversion of uh, balls into overs and if uh, if uh, any like uh, if any extra runs are there for leg by or something so that the extra run should be added and the ball should not be added so whatever the extra run is that will be added okay so so this is all like this is the logic implementation part Now one thing I, I want to mention uh, in this project that uh, in Android uh, if you want to use any colors or any resources or any uh, images so anything you want in Android uh, to be implemented so that should be uh, defined in the resource package okay so if you want to use any color so you have to define it first otherwise it will give you warnings and most uh, the the warnings are not uh, good for the good programmers right so you have to just uh, uh, mention you have to just uh, uh, you have to just declare the variables and then you can use the uh, use the resources right so this is the thing i want to just uh, this is something i want to just let you know so this is all for this uh, uh, app like uh, we have designed this uh, application and we have uh, um, done this logic part now let's run this app i i don't think um, uh, there is something is uh, is remaining so let's uh, run this app so you can run it by two ways directly connect your phone to your um, pc and just uh, uh, use it as your uh, output device or you can just uh, um, use the virtual device which is already inside the android studio so i have already used uh, i have already this virtual device so i am using this virtual device which is uh, inside this android studio that is pixel 2 api 28 so i am going to run in this like uh, all the logics are implemented correctly or not so now you can see whenever i click on this one so the one run is updated and the ball is updated okay and whenever i click on this two the runs are updated and this 
ball is updated whenever i click on this out that means the ball will be updated and the wicket will be updated and when i click on this uh, no ball so the ball should not be updated and the run should be updated by one and when i click on this extra like i have to fill the extra like for the no ball uh, there is a uh, they have run the batsman run and he take one more run so there is an extra run which will be filled by the umpire or the user in this uh, edit text and it will click on the extra button and it will get update the uh, total so this is the working of this application i hope you all are understanding this uh, application this is very simple application so this is all for this video guys and uh, i hope you like this video and if you like this video so make sure you just uh, give this video a like and just subscribe to my channel guys and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much